Defensively, he is one of the main stories of one of the best teams in America. Here's McClung, corner three, and the Red Raiders are on the board. Just 15 days ago. Lefty on lefty, here's Culver working on Santos mm. Silva, and Derek Culver connects. And when Culver gets it to that left hand, he can be very efficient with that jump hook. Look at Santos Silva go to the right hand in this one. Good feed to a cutting Culver. They are establishing Ooh. the big man early to the West Virginia big man who's gotten off to a terrific start in this one. Four points in the early going. McBride going to work off the window. We're worlds better offensively without Oscar Shibway on the team. It's opened up so, more, so much more like you said. Jalen Bridges is a guy who's taken advantage of that time as Mc... It's been Derek Culver and really Sean McNeil starting in the place of Taz Sherman. Both those guys off to a hot, hot start offensively. And then... Leading scorer at a shade under 20 points per game. And one of the major reasons why this Texas Tech team is ranked number seven in America as McNeil right in Morgantown 15 days ago. Rallying from 12 down with seven to play. McClung going to work again. You have to keep him in front. Been that kind of a year. Who knew, though? I mean, if, if David McCormick keeps playing like Lou Alcindor, I mean, who knew that was going to happen? Eight to shoot it. Has it blocked by McCuller? Edwards in transition. And the basket goes down for Micah Peavy. His long pull-up jumper. He'll try a three. Mac McClung has given the Red Raiders their first lead of the game. But Chris Beard told us, you know, people question the fit. I mean, are you even surprised at just how well this marriage is doing the same thing? He's just doing it with grad transfers. He's getting a lot of one-year guys, other versions of transfers. But he's making it work. Those guys are older and ready. If you're just joining us, West Virginia stormed out of the gates, made their first five shots, but they've gone cold since. McCabe knocks one down to tall. Culver has it taken away. Edwards in transition, drops it off. Peavy spins, gains it back, and the Red Raiders grab a two-point lead. That deeper. A lot of contact, no whistle. Culver plays through it, and he's up to nine points. Clung, corner three, had it blocked. Down low to McCuller, puts it up and in. All right, Kevin Deed, both teams shooting it at around 45%. Just three turnovers for each team, although now four for the Red Raiders after they turn it over, and we've got a one-point game here in Lubbock. Mm -hmm. Early on, McCabe has played well himself. And West Virginia, who's led by as many as eight, try to extend this three-point lead. McNeil, open look again. Sean. Mountaineers have made five of their last seven field goal attempts. And a turnover by Johnson. Open floor all the way to the basket. Back down low to Culver, spinning to his left. Lost the handle, stays with it. Second effort put back up and in by Emmett Matthews. Lefty becomes much more efficient. He's taken eight free throws in this first half. Been really active. McNeil goes to the basket. And it's McNeil, why not? Not that time. McClung the other way. Layup in transition by Kyler Edwards, who's up to four. West Virginia team, he is the team leader. Peavy feeds it down low. Deuce McBride is coming out firing. Here's McNeil, an open three. And again, we've not seen Tash Sherman in this game so far with a groin injury. McNeil got the start in this one, and he leads all scores with 18 points. 
Edwards there on the block and trying to be physical with Culver, and, and he is very good at getting the other team in foul trouble. Avery Benson in the game for the first time for Texas Tech. Open look for McClung. Rattles around the rim and goes. McCullough off the mark. Kept alive by Burton. And a bucket goes down for Jamari. Jamari. And at Cincinnati, Kenyon Martin goes down in the conference tournament. They were the number one team in the country. Favorite to win the title that year. And not able to do it. So, I mean, even if for Bob Huggins and... You know, a stat, Chris, in preparing for this game that stood out to me as Edwards misfires on the three. Second effort by T.J. Shannon. Here come the Mountaineers. Nice Good backdoor cut. And a basket by Duke. Burton goes to work down low. McCullough muscles it up and in. Playing without, everybody wants to talk about Oscar Shibway. They're playing without I, uh, Isaiah Cottrell, who tore his Achilles earlier this year. It was easy. Well, again, it speaks to the depth and talent on this West Virginia team that they've been over to, able to overcome. Mm. A PV goes to work, and he's double teamed again. McClung fires a three, and it goes down. Play everyone twice. You can't hide in the standings. I mean, this league has been the best league consistently over the last five to seven years. McNeil tried to force it up. Here's McClung. Strong to the basket, and it gives the Red Raiders the lead. What? Maybe not as high scoring, Chris, but is this beginning to look like the first matchup again or what? And as we approach the seven minute mark. McBride gives it up. Here's a three for Bridges. McClung goes to work. Gives it up to Burton, who knocks it down. Down to two on the shot clock. McNeil five. Look at Culver fight for position down low. They find him in an opportunity. Two minutes to go from Lubbock. McClung. Here's Shannon fires the three. Wow. He said it, it must have McClung must have been holding bridges. Oh, I think some of the physical play we've seen here tonight but let deuce mcbride to the line he's an 83 percent shooter on this long sherman sitting this one out with a groin injury abs miles mcbride in the first half only played nine minutes with two edwards is serena williams embarking on her historic quest for a 20 so McNeil, the technicals being shot now by Sean McNeil. Points. Fittingly, Sean McNeil is going to dribble out the clock in what's been a career night for him. And how about the road victory for West Virginia coming to Lubbock and knocking off the number seven team in America, 82-71.